Welcome back to the channel. This is our part two review of Crisis on Earth X. Um, I guess I'll start off. Part two is an Arrow episode, actually. And the end of part one, um, basically, at the end of the fight scene, they were able to capture, I think it was um, Jax. Jax was able to capture someone, which ended up being Prometheus. Mm -hmm. And we get the reveal of who Prometheus is. Are we going to say that? Are we going to wait yes. until... Okay, heavy Prometheus. spoilers. Heavy spoilers going forward. <laughs> yes, Prometheus ended up being Tommy Merlin, which no dun, one dun, dun. saw. If you are an Arrow fan, you know who Tommy Merlin is. And yes, no one expected that. Um, however, basically... Pretty much throughout part two, it was just um, them trying to figure out why they're being targeted mm -hmm. now. You know, of course, you're confused because it's Nazis. Like, why are there Nazis here yeah. prevalent, you know, in today's world? So that's when I think this is the episode when um, Harry's breaking down the 53rd Earth and it's X Earth X where the Nazis, you know, he's giving them a breakdown of history, how everything's different over there in that mm -hmm. world. And there's... Still like okay, well that explains that, but why are we being targeted? So of course they figure out yeah. The kryptonite arrow. I just want to remind you of that. Well, I'm just gonna do my little quick review, and you can jump in and, and recap. Um, but yeah, that's when they're trying to still figure out why they're being targeted. And I think this is the episode when they figure out about who their doppelgangers are, and that's who yes. is targeting them. Well, I just brought up the arrow because I know you said that. you wanted to bring it up. But um, yeah. I'll talk about it. Oliver, again, in true fashion, when they now know who the doppelgangers are, <laughs> he comes to the party with a kryptonite arrow, and he shoots the arrow. It doesn't affect Overgirl, who is Supergirl on Earth-X. Um, as much as they expected it to. Um, but, you know, Barry and um, Kara are like, why do you even have that? He's <laughs> like, uh, because there could be an evil Supergirl, so I need to be at the ready and prepared at all times. Yes, I love that And scene. that was an awesome scene because the shock on their face that he actually had that <laughs> and came to the, and like, the fact that you didn't know the who showdown. this person was. Because they had the showdown with exactly. three on each side. <laughs> and the fact that you just had that in your quiver at all times, yes. is that, I think that's where the arrows are kept, in the quiver, mm -hmm. at all times, really kind of puts me in a place of shock. But at the end of the day, I mean, out of it, we know he doesn't play. He's about that business at all times. Um, the ending of this episode, I think, is what really caught a lot of people mm -hmm. unawares. With them getting captured? Because half of the team ends up, over half of the team, actually, ends up on Earth X. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's where we leave off. We find out the reason why they're there is because Supergirl... I'm sorry, Overgirl is sick. Okay? On her Earth, she was exposed to too much um, solar radiation, and she's dying. And she chose to come to Earth 1 where Kara was... Because she needs a heart. And she wanted Supergirl's heart. Which makes me wonder, since there is a car on each and every Earth, if maybe not all the car Danvers on the other Earths are actually Supergirls. Obviously, we know she is not one on Earth 1. Because they would have brought that up. But on maybe some of the other Earths, maybe she's not Supergirl either. Or another iteration of Supergirl. And so that's why um, she they wanted to get Kara. Yeah. This was another great episode. Like I said at the beginning, what more can you say? They really did all the stops when it comes to everything. I love the um, reveal of Team Arrow showing up, though. I thought that, that was yes. that was nicely interjected yeah. in the, the episode. They're trying to take over Star Labs because they want to operate on Supergirl. They get Supergirl, and they, they actually, you know what? There is something that we missed. In episode um earlier in the episode they they get a prism and they're trying to figure out why they get this prism 
And they get the prism because it's full of red kryptonite. And that's going to weaken Kara's body. So that way they can take out her heart and put it in Overgirl's body or whatever. So while they're trying to take over Star Labs, yes, Arrow Team drops in. And um, they do their thing or whatever. And we end up with Arrow's team being captured. Cisco being knocked out still and captured. Um, Iris and Felicity being the only two people out trying to assess things. Kara is being weakened right now. And the rest of the team's on Earth X. Yeah. So, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and stop it here for the second episode. We're going to pick this up really quickly with part three so we will see you guys in a little bit and as always stay geeky